on today's episode of Green Talks, we'll be talking to Kylie Levine, and let's jump right into the episode. <laughs> okay, so what wanted you to get into acting? Well, I mean, growing up, I was always in the car, whether it was traveling to an audition for my siblings or to a sport event. And we were also in the military, so we were in the car 24-7. And watching all these movies, I was would watch them, and I would be like, someday that's going to be me. And I had so much hope, and I'm still working on becoming the person that I told myself I was going to be, but I'm right. doing great, and I keep following my dreams. That's so cute. just watching movies and telling myself I was going to do that. <laughs> On your first commercial or um, movie that you were in, were you nervous or did you kind of see it easy? I think I at first I was a little nervous because it was the first time meeting a director and a producer and everybody on set that was so professional. But yeah. once I got in front of the ca- uh, the camera, it was like easy peasy. Makes you feel inspired and motivated to become an actor. Yeah. Well, um, there's many people who I think um, inspire me, but also I um, just watching others perform. Like if I'm behind the scenes and I'm with uh, other people uh, that are filming, I think other, watching other people and how they train and how they get ready for their scene and how they do their scene, that inspires me to be like them and be the person who I looked up to. What are you good at and what are you not good at when it comes to acting and commercials? Um, I'm very, very good at socializing and I'm good at memorizing lines. Uh, I am working on a few things like eye contact, yeah. um, which is my biggest thing that I'm working on. And I'm very, like, I don't hold back. I'm very brutally honest. <laughs> That's good. And... When it first came to acting, did you go to school or did you just jump right into like, right into it, I would say? Yeah, Uh, so we did have to do three hours of school a day. Like no no matter how many days on set there are, you had to do at least three hours of schoolwork, which is perfect for me. When I first started, I was in elementary school. So I was in real like public school. So it was a little more difficult, but I would, if I would get it done offset too if I yeah. didn't have enough time. But now that I'm homeschooled, it's a lot easier because like I can adjust my schedule and everything. So three yeah. hours is like perfect. Perfect. And one thing is, what are you looking forward to in the future? I am looking forward to becoming the amazing actress that my six-year-old self set <laughs> her mind to. <laughs> Are you um looking forward to be in any big major shows in the future that will turn like into a big hit? Yeah, I am. I'm really hoping that well, my movie Roswell Delirium is coming out soon, and I'm super excited. And um, everybody's saying that's gonna be so big, and I think so too because it's really good. Right. And I think that's when that goes far. I think we'll all get called more for a lot of things. And I'm super excited to get on a big hit TV show or a movie. And, right. you know, it's just so fun. And meeting new people is like the best thing ever. So, yeah. If they call you back for part two in Roswell Delirium, would you go back? I would definitely go back. <laughs> Good. And do you know, would it be a movie theater show or would it be just on Netflix and HBO? So the director of this film is working on it. It's in post-production. So he's still working on selling it and everything. Uh, We got a few like uh, people who want to buy this movie and everything. But yeah, (laughs) so we're still working on that part. Um, So another question is like, what was your first commercial that you were in, if you could remember? The first, I can remember the first few commercials, so I'll give you a broad uh, description. They were all, I was um, very small for my age and cute, and um, so I was in a lot of toy commercials, and like a lot of rainbow corns, there was American Girl dolls, there was like um, a slime clay one, but there was a lot of like little girl, uh, fun, surprising uh, commercials like those, yeah. And were you in any music videos or was it just your brother that was in that one music video? Uh, I think I was in one music video a long time ago, but yeah, my brother was too. Where can our listeners find you online? So on Instagram, my username is Inside Kylie's World and on TikTok, it's uh, Kylie Grace POVs. Okay.
And one last question is, um, if you were some famous actor, your favorite actor, what would you give their younger advice? I would like, say keep reaching for your dreams and never give up because that's the biggest thing that stops people from trying to reach out and trying to do it because it's a lot of hard work. But I feel like if some anybody puts their mind to it, they can do it and they can achieve it. I want to thank you, Kylie, for um, being on part of my show today. Um, our next video will be posted in about a week or two. I'm kind of behind on some editing right now, but thank you so much, you guys, for listening into my podcast. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one.